Hello everyone. Hello. Uh, hi, my name is uh, Raul Maikes. I work for Red Hat Switzerland. Hello. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Andres Valero. I work as a solution architect in Red Hat. Today we are going to talk to you how to how to use CloudFronts plus Ansible Tower for automating and deploying applications on OpenShift or any other tasks that will make your, your, daily, your daily job easier. So there is no need to reinvent the wheel. When you need to do something, probably somebody has already done something similar. So you can build up on that. Uh, you can, uh, in the case of Ansible, you can go to the Ansible Galaxy, see if there is uh, a role that does what you want or similar to what you want, and then improve it. Um, your mother was right. It's better to share. Uh, feedback your changes. When you, when you make any change, you can feedback, feed, feed it back to the community so somebody else will benefit from your work. And you will also benefit because uh, probably you will find somebody who improve your chains, I mean, improve your software and so on. So when, when we create new services, when we try to make other, other users' life easier, we want to use a, a service catalog. We want to, do, to use automated tasks for make it, make it, it simpler. So the idea is trying to make everyone self-sufficient and making the, the services easier to, to consume. But uh, not only that. When you prepare these services, you want to make sure that everything is working as expected and everyone can consume these services without problems. So try the services before delivering the services to your to your colleagues or to your company, and now we're going to 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 share you a little demonstration about all this is what about. So, so we record a video to be safe in case the internet connection is not uh, very good. So. So here we we start. Oh. So here we are gonna clone the um, existing uh, repository with the software we want, with the playbooks we want. Then uh, we are gonna go to our uh, Git repo and uh, also clone it. And uh, now we are copying the, the playbooks we want into our repository. Then we will make some changes to it. You can see we just add in a variable for the router and uh, another task to create uh, the, the router. And then we are going to commit these changes uh, to our repo. So now they are in the repo. We uh, push them to the remote uh, repository. And now we are going to see them in the So now we are going to create a template in Ansible Tower to be able to use these uh, playbooks. See, first we import the repository in projects. We just uh, fill in the details. Uh, so we copy the, the URL. Um, Give it a name and save it. 
And now we are going to create a template for running it. The name, we select the inventory, which is localhost, because it's only going to do API calls. And we select the repo we just created, which contains the playbooks. Select the playbook we want. And then we need the credential for the Ansible Vault to decrypt the, the Ansible Vault. See, it contains the credentials to connect to OpenShift. And we just uh, save, save it. And now we are going to, um, the changes we made, we are going to feed them back to the, to the original Git repository, so to the original project. We can first, in the, at the beginning, we use the command line, but you can also use the, the UI from GitHub. So just edit. Just uh, copy and paste uh, all the changes. I mean, the, well, the whole playbook. We are. We only have ten minutes, so we are trying to be a bit faster. <laughs> so here we copy and paste the changes. And now we give some meaningful description of the change. We create a pull request. So here you can see what's changed. Then the other person will see the pull request. So now we are in the other session with the other user, the owner of this other repository. Then he sees there is a pull request. And then he just click merge, and the changes are on the other repository. So we already, with this, we already share what we did, so others can benefit. And now we, we do git uh, pull, and then we will get the. We'll see the changes are there. The route is there. The variable for for the route is there as well. Now you turn. Now we're going to explain you how to create a service catalog item into Cloud Forms by using the template that Raul created before in in Ansible Tower. So we go to our template. Tower is a configurated provider into Cloud Forms. From there, we create a new dialog for the new catalog item we're going to use. The dialog is important because if you need any variables and information to fill in this template, you're going to use uh, a dialog for doing so. Once the dialog is created, it is a pretty standard dialogue, so we want to custom the dialogue and make it more appropriate for this use case. So what we are going to do is to hide the limit, since it makes no sense for, for this use case. And we are going to set a checkbox to confirm that we want to deploy the application in OpenShift. Once the, the dialog is finished, then we're going to, to create the, the catalog item. 
Hi. We save all the dialog changes. And now in catalogs, we create the new catalog item. We select Ansible Tower since it's the, the, where our template is located. We provide a meaningful name for our catalog item. We are going to deploy, deploy reverse words applications. Select the catalog, which dialog we are going to use, provider. And from the to to provider, we select the, the template. Uh, this is the administration UI. So later on, we will use this catalog item with an unprivileged user in order to make sure that any user can use this, this catalog item. So now we are going to, to finish the, the catalog. And later on, we are going to apply a tag for making sure that certain group of users in our organization can use it. So now we are applying the tag for the communication department. So anyone inside the, the communication department will be able to access this service catalog and, and deploy reverse words applications. Let's copy. No, we logged with my user two. It's not administration. It's a basic user with only permission to see certain services. In this case, only the reverse words deployment service. And now we are going to order the service. So we provide a name, we confirm that we want to deploy the application, and we submit the, the service. When we order the service, what we are doing is calling the Tower API and launching the reverse words template. So when the playbook finishes, our application is deployed in OpenShift. As you can see in the OpenShift console, we have a pod running with the reverse words application. We also have a new route that is the, the new modification that Raul introduced in the, in the previous, previous playbook. And we also have the new deployment created for the application. This is the, 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 the end point we're going to use to call reverse words application. And it's a really simple Go application that the only thing that it does is when you call the API with a word, it turns you the, the, the reverse word. So this is a really easy and simple use case. But for 10 minutes, we didn't have much time to do something nicer. <laughs> So I hope you like it. Thank you.